Hello, welcome back. Last time I re-explored the Eastern Forest and uh, found all sorts of new stuff there. Um, I want to take a moment now. I want to go to the Ruined Atoll today, but I have like a big detour to do first. So I spent some time on my own analyzing this writing system to see what I could learn from the information that's available to me right now. I learned a lot. I don't know enough to fully crack the cipher, but I have like a lot of observations I can share. So, um... The way I started out with this was by analyzing, well basically like, got a piece of paper, looked at some uh, video frames where I had text up on the screen and tried just drawing it out uh, in various interesting places, just to see what I would learn from that. Um, I want to go to a particular place here, this leads to the forest, right? So in the forest, I found sort of a little mini Rosetta Stone, um, basically like, what I need to solve a cipher is either the assumption that it's a one-to-one -one match with English text and enough examples to just sort of, by pattern recognition, figure out what that is, uh, and or, ideally, an example of a piece of text written both in the script I'm trying to decipher and... Okay, so that's how far I can fall from there. Uh, and the, you know, a script I can actually read. Where's that forest entrance? It's way up here? So, um, I realized that place names are often written both in tunic script and in English. So we got East Bell Tower, then a bunch of tunic text below that. Uh, so, you know, the, I think the first thing I wrote down was East Bell Tower. So I just scribbled out those symbols on a piece of paper. Then I continued doing that for a few other place names. Uh, yeah, well... Sure, I guess I'm going down the ladder, that's fine. Um, I'll make my way back the, the slow way. Because there are two particular place names I want to show in here that were extremely good. Okay, so East Forest. I scribbled down that one. Basically, like, two things that have a repeated word and a different word would be very good. So I thought at first, okay, we got East Forest and Lower Forest in here. Let's write those down and uh, check the difference between them. So I went to the Lower Forest, after having written down East Forest. Uh, how do I get to the Lower Forest? There's a way to it, not too far away. Is it like, down here? Yeah, okay. No idea how to get on that one ledge down there. Uh, that's just like, over here, right? Lower Forest. I wrote that down, it's identical to East Forest. So whatever text is down there is the same for both East and Lower Forest. So it certainly cannot say East Forest and Lower Forest. It either says one of them or something else. But after that sort of failed exercise, I found something better. Um, so if I go in here, this is Guardhouse 2. And there's also Guardhouse 1. Those were far more informative. Where is Guardhouse 1? Is this perhaps it up here? Oh, you killed your friend. Gotta watch where you're aiming. Oh, I killed the sign. I gotta watch where I'm aiming. Is this Guardhouse 1? Yeah, Guardhouse 1. Okay. So now, I guess the thing about this is it doesn't really... Okay, I could pause and look at it. Sure. So, um... I don't have a cursor here. Uh, that's okay. So that left portion of that is the same between both, then the right portion was different. Guardhouse 1 has, like, a two-wide thingy. Okay, so, like, there's that... Um, rhombus in the top left, then the horizontal line that's present for almost all text, the descending to the right mark, and then the, like, circumflex-looking one below that. So that's for one. Um, the vertically-oriented sign made me think the text might be sideways. I have a different, more nuanced theory now, having, having looked at this for a while. So yeah, Guardhouse 2. So yeah, first, left bit is the same, but this one has only a one wide. So we got the rhombus with two extra lines on it on the left and bottom. Then the bottom portion is three lines in those orientations. Uh, let's see, where am I with this? I, I sort of tried to like chronicle my, my journey with uh, how I analyzed this. I basically assumed that... The left word is guardhouse, and the right words are one and two. So I had those, and then I started looking through the instruction booklet to see if I could uh, find any other things that would be particularly readable. Which one did I key into? 
I definitely know a few words with like 99.9% .9 confidence. Uh, this this thing this thing here. I wish I, I wish I had a mouse cursor that I could point at stuff with, uh, but I don't. So that's the text for the spirit world, right? As I understand it, uh, which was uh, yeah this one. Um, so I just sort of recognize that on site now. Um, I think the piece of text that revealed this to me, I was just kind of doing some pattern matching. Where does it talk about getting to the Western Bell? Here we go, ringing the West Bell. Somehow I keyed into this and spotted. So look at West Garden there, two characters to the left. That is the same as um, that rightmost thing in Guardhouse 2. And I just worked out from context that that almost certainly says something like, how do you get to the West Bell? To get to the West Garden, uh, uh, go, go to the West Garden through the Dark Tomb or something like that. So one thing that gave me an idea of what the word the was, which is always a very useful one to figure out in a cipher because the shows up all over the place and can often be just figured out from context where it is. So I, that gave me the theory that it's the West Garden, the Dark Tomb, so that, that up arrow, the, the two up arrows basically, which also coincidentally is how the, uh, the name of the spirit world starts. So it's three words, spaces are spaces. So we have the, another word, and then another word. Um, but then the other really interesting thing about that was that just to the left of that the, left of the West Garden, we have an exact match for the right side of, um, of Guardhouse 2. This word has to be 2-T-O, but then this word here is 2-T-W-O. So that tells me this is a phonetic script. It is not a one-to-one -one English letter cipher. So anyway, I know how to read two, the, the sound two. I know how to read the or the or however you pronounce it. Then this leads to some, some real interesting stuff. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the start of cracking the code. Let's go to another application here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's not the button. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna go to a paint program for a bit. So from just writing a bunch of this text, uh, I figured out the patterns of like where symbols can go basically. So there's, it's basically like seven bits, top and bottom. So there's a center line, sometimes. I'll talk about the center line in a bit. There are four points. So four points of a rhombus there. In the top, basically like think of seven bits of data. You have this bit can be present or absent. This bit can be present or absent. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, because I saw combinations like with each of these strokes, these, these two are separate strokes. Uh, so stroke one, stroke two, stroke three, stroke four, stroke five, stroke six, stroke seven, or, you know, in, in some order. Uh, you know, think of like a, uh, an LED clock, which, you know, can make any number with uh, this kind of pattern just by activating or deactivating the cells. So in, the, in LED clock uh, metaphor, you got, you know, cell there, cell there, Cell here, cell here, cell here, cell here, cell here. Uh, so that's for the top one. Now the bottom portion was a little different. And the bottom, similar patterns. So you still got the rhombus shape. You know, one bit, two bit, three bit, four bit, um, five. This is where the differences start. So these are common. But this line is shorter. It doesn't come all the way up to the baseline and goes upward instead of downward. Then, as far as I can tell, the equivalent of this bottom line is a little ring here. I looked for this ring that shows up in some text on the top and I never found it on top. But then I realized this asymmetry, like this line, I never found that on the bottom. So I'm gonna say the ring is probably equivalent to the line. So I think it's like the same seven bits. Um, Sure, I'll say this baseline is a, a cell of our LED clock here. 
Um, then we got this cell, this cell, this cell, this one, this one, this one, and then the circle. Right. Uh, oh, I don't like the way I drew that, but you know, you, you can tell what it is. <laughs> it's close enough. Uh, so another thing that tells me is since characters are right next to each other, sometimes I'll see a line here, but that means it's part of the next character. Um, so let me show you my page of scribbles of writing analysis. Um, this isn't the most readable thing. Got like all sorts of little little notes here. Uh, decided it was phonetic. This is the text for the spirit world. Uh, I think it reads top to bottom. Ah, and I'll show you why I think that in a moment. Right, so here's the text for lower forest and also east forest. Those are the same. Here's that, that, that ring on the bottom that I never saw on the top. Uh, ignore those non -crossed, those crossed out things. Well, here, here's things I thought. I'll explain why I thought all of these. Uh, right, and this is where I was figuring out uh, the line on the bottom and the circle may be the same thing. So yeah, guardhouse two, guardhouse one. Uh, so here's, here's two, here's probably one. Uh, so two, I think is, you know, that's another like 99% confirmed. That's the sound that makes. And it would follow logically that this would be one. Uh, right, so here's two, page 34. Um, you cannot see that in, oh yeah, you can eventually, just has to catch up for a moment. Uh, is this page 34? This is page 28. Why did I think two was on page 34? Two over 34? Did I mean 32? I don't see a two here, so I think I meant 32. Yeah, okay, here we go. So the uh, this yellow tile to the spirit world. And I think that second word is definitely the. I don't know what the third or fourth are or like what, what sound they make yet. But yeah, there's that two again to the hero's grave. Hero's grave, by the way, I believe is a place name that is one to one. Uh, right, you can see that for a moment because OBS has to catch up. It's fine. The hero's grave because uh, it just matches really well. I think I saw the word hero in a few other places. Hmm. What about the z? Like, is it is it hero and heroes a different... Oh. Okay, I should try to find a place where I think it says hero, but doesn't say heroes. Okay, that's worth thinking about. Uh, somewhere... Somewhere I figured out this is what you sounds like. Where did I figure that out? Ah, I know where I figured it out. There's an early page that just gives like a graph of the game screen. This one. So here this little yellow line pointed to the fox. Does that say hero? Okay, catch up. I wish I could look at it side by side. That's, okay, so this shape, line on the left and a right triangle, this shape, similar to that, but with this line and a ring. Uh, I think that's, ooh, there are similarities. Mm, no, that's a lot different. I wish I could do this more rapidly, but that's that's how long it takes to catch up. Sorry for the black screens. Uh, nothing I can quite do about it right now. Um, but anyway, that thing on the right, I noticed it was one word. I noticed the bottom portion was the same as two. And a word that would make a lot of sense there was you. And I think I like looked through the manual for that same pattern to see if I could find anything else that might be you. And I did. I found a really good one on... Do I have... Do I have a thing here? Uh, I can find it, I think. It's like how to read the map. Is it on the same page? It's not. Where is... There's something somewhere that shows a map and has a thing that I'm pretty sure says you are here on it. Hmm. 
What would that look like, though? Um... Like, it showed the little fox icon that's on the map to show my marker. Here we go, here we go. Found it. Check the map. You are here. Um, why am I sure that last word is here? Because what else could it be? Like, three two phoneme words next to each other. The first one is you. Uh, it's talking about where I am on the map. So yeah, that must be you are here. So that led to that middle thing. So I think I have R and here. Um, this is R, and I think this is a or a, you know, one of something. And I found it interesting that like that has the the upper. Let's see. I'll uh, where where did I see that? Another interesting page was. Wait, was that no? Another interesting page was. This one. HP something MP. And this is probably like and or. Mm -hmm. Swaps. Let's see. HP with MP. HP instead of MP. I know what instead of is. Um, the reason I know that is because of. Uh, charm description. Where's that thing? Uh, inverted ash. MP instead of HP. I had... I already had an idea for of. That that word left of HP is definitely of. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so I have instead because that's just the only thing that would fit there. And it's about the right number of uh, characters as I understand them. Anyway, I don't remember exactly how I figured out what A or uh would have to be, but it was... Oh, right, sorry. I had to wait for that to catch up. Uh, but it was really interesting that this matched R. So when I thought about the way I had never seen a ring on top and this line on the bottom, for, for a moment I thought, like, looking at these, I thought, what if it is mirrored top and bottom, and this is a non-rhotic script? So it's actually saying, you are here. So long ah there. Um, but then I discarded that, which is why this is crossed out and this, uh, just because analyzing this means that it doesn't have to be mirrored. Right, yeah, I observed that there's no room for an upper line there. Instead, it's probably the ring. Right, that's why I thought it was mirrored, because this line goes down. Well, yeah, it goes, goes up from the center line. This one goes down from the center line. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it... I don't know its roticism right now. It could say R, it could say ah, uh, could be whatever. Uh, you, I think this was your, and I'm not sure where I got it, but anyway. Um, that's about what I have, right. And the this is the difference between East... Right, so this text very clearly does not say East Bell Tower, because first of all, it starts with the, then it has the again in it. Uh, the difference between east and west is this word. So the, I guess this is east. This is too long for east. This would probably be eastern. But then, like, could this be western? Because it ends so differently. But okay, we have the, well, no, this doesn't have the circle on it. So no, this is like just, if this is on the bottom, this is just this one bit. But on top, this is tall enough that it's these two bits. So that's a different character there. Anyway, so basically, I don't know what this means, but this is uh, showing me that place that the text that shows up next to the place name is certainly not always, I mean, I already knew that from Lower and East Forest, is certainly not always an exact match for the English text there. Okay, so is that all of my conclusions so far? I think... I think that's pretty much everything I've figured out so far. So yeah, I, uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, how much of this I've figured out at this point. Um, it's a good start, but it hasn't been enough to fully crack the code. Oh, um, I recognize something though. Look at that hot pepper ivy description. That's the word for one. Okay, so if that's one, wait a second. 
getting my piece of paper out here just so I can look at it at the same time. What does of look like? That's not of. So it's one something something, one same something different something. One is? What do, do, I, do I have an, a theory for is? One is hot, one is cold, or something like that? Is. I have not sketched out a guess for is. Well, maybe now I have one. There's that uh, just below the, the first possibly is there in the, the second line. Attack. Okay, here's that same symbol between attack and SP as was between HP and MP up here. Yeah, you can just see both. Okay, this is a super cool puzzle, and I love it. Ciphers are kind of my thing, and this is a lot more advanced than, you know, just a simple letter substitution thing. This is something more. Oh, and there's, there's this page. So, right. Oh, yeah, and I had one more important thing to th talk about other than this. This is an example of where the center line is not present. Uh... So, but it still works without the center line. This is obviously like sketches of somebody figuring out the writing system. Ooh, and now with what I know, this is extremely interesting. So I'm looking at like, I wish I could point, but you know, what's what's right in the center of the, okay, let's do it this way, on the, the, the very right edge of the screen in blue. So you got that Y down on the bottom, then the Y with the carrot above it on the top, with, with the carrot below on the bottom. And then the carrot and the little like upper right, um, it's like a, like a grave accent below it. Lines pointing to both of them. I'm not sure what that means though. Pointing to the little circle, but just one pointer to the circle and nothing about like what that means. Anyway, yeah, so there are a couple of examples of text deviating from the pattern of line in the center, you know, exactly like that, that LED clock thing I laid out. Uh, another important one is the title screen here. This is way too many characters to, uh, to say tunic, and I think I, I think I just figured out what it actually says um, as I was setting up for recording this video. So I switched to display capture so I could show this. I pressed Alt-Tab. If I hold it, I always play this game full screen, so I didn't see this until now, but the title of the window is Secret Legend. Isn't that s suspicious? I think it is. And that's a Oh, that had the wrong thumbnail on it. Isn't that something? Okay, hang on, I'm gonna switch this to... Ah, uh, that... It'll look the same, but it, it works slightly differently. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so uh, I think that's a good theory for what the text here says. I think that's Secret Legend, and that's another one I can use as a Rosetta Stone, but I haven't, like, used that analysis to figure out, like, which sound is which, how to how to put them all together. Uh, right, anyway, one, one more thing is I... My theory for how this is read, just in general, right now is that it's, like... Phoneme 1, phoneme 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So top to bottom, or top to bottom per character, left to right. Uh, and, right, that, that fits with stuff like you and your. So starts with same sound, ends with different one. Then two and you starts with different sound, ends with same one. And the, the top portion, where's, where's two? There's two. Uh, yes, the top portion is different, but the bottom is the same. Right, yeah. So that, that totally makes sense. Uh, this might be your instead of your, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so that's, that's what I understand right now. I have to, I have to press a button again. So <laughs> that's linguistics for the day. Let's continue. Where's this going to take me? Probably back to the overworld. No, last place I exited. Okay, so that tells me something about that. Okay, so, that was a lot of fun. Um, where does this go? Dead end, I think. Let's play a video game now. <laughs> uh, to get to the ruined atoll, I need to teleport through here, but... Oh, hey, right, so this has... Ho hold on. Um, well, it's not going to show me that again. Uh, there was more text there down below what I understand to be the spirit world. The something something. The two short words that I, I can't read yet. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, 
and yeah, video recording is real good for this because I can just pause when a place name comes up and uh, study it all I want. Oh, I have to go back the other way, of course. Anyway, i um, going to get to a good spirit transport and head to the Ruined Atoll and do at least a little bit of adventuring there. Here we go. Here's a departure point. My fingers have decided today that the, the button I have bound to my ice wand right now is the button for opening the map. So I wasted a few charges on that by accident. <laughs> uh, anyway, quick little journey here. And the ruined atoll is... I don't know, it could be this one. Let's find out. Yeah, that's the one. Library Annex. See, that's just written in English. Uh, here, let me get back the, the magic I wasted. Alright, telescope. This place looks like... Ooh, look at that bird. Sitting on a chest. Okay, so there's a chest down there that I'd like. What, what do you want me to target, LT? Something in the water. Baby Slorm, probably? Uh... Okay, so statue park in the center and just a whole bunch of stuff. The map for this place does have an interesting pattern. Let's talk about text again. Um, so the, those towers. One, two, three, four at the corners. Um, I would think they say northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast because notice on one and two, the first word is the same. Notice on one and three, the second word is the same. Notice on three and four, first word is the same. Two and four, second word is the same. So it would seem like it's northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. It's awfully short for those sounds though. And it doesn't match like east, west, bell tower. So I think they're saying something else, but it's like definitely, you know, x axis, y axis, something, something. Uh, the way it's laid out, at least. But but I don't know what the, the words or the sounds are. <laughs> uh, hi, crabs. There's uh, there's some documentation about you. So you approach me sideways and claw me. Sure, of course you do. What, what does the, it actually say about that? Crabbo, crabbit. Crabbo has a shard, hard shell, but crabbit has pals. Okay. Envoys are here. More questions than answers. Husher, a friendly bird that loves to eat slorms. Okay, so the husher might have been what I saw on that chest in the center. Here's a power line. Right, that's going to be... Okay, this will be Crabbit then, because it has friends. And no hard shell. Yes. Weird hook thing here. Another one over there. I wonder how those differ from the... Uh, oh, hi, bird. I'll leave you alone. Uh, I wonder how those differ from the hooks that autobolts leave behind. Probably in some way, I would imagine. This doesn't go anywhere? Okay. Uh... Because, like, both seem like they want to be hookshotted too, once I have such a thing. Are you a husher? What does a husher look like? It's kind of that color. The glowy eyes aren't shown. That's not a friendly bird. I don't think that's a husher. Must be something else. It's a very unfriendly bird. Oh, you dodged my, my wand. Well, good for you. But after a dive, you leave yourself open to an attack, okay? Do that again. Oops, that was the roll button, not the attack button. That's why I rolled instead of attacking. Very evasive, except when you go in the attack. I found a mushroom. That's MP capacity increase, I think? Yeah, and I have two of them. Whoa. Wait, sorry, no, I'm at level two and I have one. And I have enough to upgrade one of these. Okay, I will do that at the next save point I see. There's one up north. Okay, that's the one that I see. <laughs> Let's go there. <laughs> uh, I can't directly from here. I have to go around, but like around is a little inconvenient. Oh, I can go in the water here though. This is totally something. Yup. Ice bombs, all right, great. This is, see, there's some text I should try and analyze there on the got an item thing. See if it matches up to ice bombs and then, because those are, Named in the manual somewhere in the, the item page. They change color when they get wet. <laughs> Alright, hook here. This place seems pretty calm overall. Maybe it'll get less so when I uh, activate the, 
the power or something. Uh, I'm not being particularly methodical with my exploration, just kind of going where my feet take me. I think I basically want to go save and uh, do some upgrades and then then call it, because the script analysis took a while. That's kind of the, the main point of today, I guess. But, but I keep finding interesting stuff. There's a key here. Uh, anything else? Little island way over there, but it's just some rocks sticking up. Hardly could call that an island. Uh, what happened? I guess there was an opening. Okay, so there's an opening here. Uh, gotcha, I didn't parse that as a cave, but all right. So opening here in the... You are here. Where am I? There I am. Oh, that's how you get to the frog's domain. Okay, gotcha. So frog's domain is there. There's a little... I saw another thing in the map that I want to investigate real quick. Where was it exactly? Also, can I get... All right, need a key to go in here. What are you? Oh, you're a uh, slurm. Okay. Ah! You're one that can't be neutralized by my shield. Ouch! Whoa! That's what getting blown up is like. Oh, because it gave me... It gave me that effect that I got from the uh, the stuff in the quarry, didn't it? I think my max health is down. I got all slimed up. Uh, I'll see when I rest if it goes back up. Uh, here's a tower. Since there's an order to these, maybe I'll activate them in order. This would be two, I think. Yeah, let's activate them in order, just in case it matters. And I can see what happens if I do it out of order. But let's do them in order. No, let's see what happens if you do them out of order. Maybe it just doesn't activate? It does. Maybe the order doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I activated number two. Maybe there is an order that I uh, need to discover some way other than just counting from one to four. Could be anything. There's a chest here I can get. And there was one other I was trying to get before I... Uh, that's an upgrade item, isn't it? Yeah, for defense. Getting powered up for that siege engine. I haven't forgotten that thing. I'll get to it eventually, but it, it doesn't have to be especially soon. And there's that whole, like, mountain door activity and the quarry. Lots and lots of stuff to come back to when I'm ready to come back to it. That chest... I'm not entirely sure how to get to it. Uh, I can go around here and get this key. Okay, right, I forgot about that. I wonder what that says, like, pick up or something? Maybe? A short question. Uh, I splashed in the water. How shallow is this water? Not shallow enough to... Oh, hey, broken ladder. Ooh, broken ladder I can fix! Alright, I learned telekinesis at some point, and I'm strong enough to pick that up. Neat! Uh, that chest is the... Ah, what happened? <laughs> I found a shop. Right, that was the thing I wanted to investigate, the little opening. I didn't see the glowing eyes in it, though. Uh, right, this is the big ticket item I'm trying to buy at some point, but I don't have... Um, could this be like... Buy for... Pay me... Eh, it could be a lot of things. Need more, not enough. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, hey, hang on. I found my way to a shop and I wanted to test a blueberry-related thing. I don't want to spend 150 on it, though. I need my money for other things. Like, that's just to discover if there's a limit of nine to them. I'll discover that a different way. Hook here. Chest way down there. Was that the thing I was investigating? Yes, and it does have the eyes on it. Uh, oh. So, now, that little place that I came in with a frightened bird... Did I just never try to go in the water there? And wade along to where this chest is? Or maybe I do that on this side? 
No, I can't get there on this side. This wall is intact. There is, however, a rope there, I note, that I could totally knock down if I got up to it, which is a journey. Okay, gotcha. So knock down that rope and I'll be able to go all the way around, maybe. Um, I want to upgrade. Okay, so defense for 200, stamina for 400, this for 350. So most things I can get now is some defense and some stamina. Let's do it. Neat. And, oh no. Stamina. Oh right, and I was gonna sleep and see if my, uh, my HP max comes back, because I think it's lowered right now. I wanna make sure that is like what that purple screen effect means, because I think it is. So right now it's a little lower than my stamina max. I think I saw it go up as it was animating out. Yes, okay, got it, because I have three and a half-ish uh, uh, units of it. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to explore this more next time, or maybe uh, maybe I'll have more writing system analysis to talk about. <laughs> but, I don't know. Either one will be fun.